If you ever have a problem you don't know how to solve, we know the place for you. Welcome to the Hiroshima International Center. is Ino Hara-san, uh, the department head of Hiroshima International Center um, and the head of exchange at the center. So, and I will be interpreting for him today. My name is Aya Goto Hersig, so nice to meet you. Hiroshima International Center was founded in 1989 and originally it was part of the Hiroshima prefectural government, so within the same building, but it moved to Crystal Plaza in 1992 when it was first built. Hiroshima International Center is primarily sponsored by the Hiroshima prefectural government municipalities as well as NGOs. Um, so our main funding is 10 billion yen. The Hiroshima prefectural government provides 6 billion yen of that, then local municipalities about 2 billion yen, and then NGOs and other bodies, um, the remaining two million, or sorry, billion yen. Since the Hiroshima International Center's founding over 30 years ago, um, we've had that 10 billion yen and we've held on to it that entire time and interest does also accumulate over time so we've been using that to fund different programs. This is you know a story from over 30 years ago so a lot of this is conjecture. Um, I guess at that time there was increasing international exchange between Japan and other countries a lot because of the you know growing um, financial power of Japan and increasing trade with other countries um, so as a result of that definitely well, I guess a part of that um, being Japan realizing the importance of understanding other cultures and um, exchange with foreign countries. So that definitely played a part in the foundation of the HIC. At that time, um, Japan was also formulating a lot of friendship agreements with foreign countries, um, including China and even the uh, state of Hawaii in America. So I'm um, increasing that international exchange as well as the JET program was founded in 1986. Um, so I guess Hiroshima Prefecture saw that as an opportunity to take a lead in this opening to foreign countries of Japan. So um, that definitely played a part in the foundation of the HIC. The HIC is actually not an NPO. We are a public interest incorporated foundation, um, which is very similar in a legal sense, but it is harder to get licensed as a public interest incorporated foundation versus an NPO. Currently, actually, the HIC does not offer Japanese classes. Um, I guess every town and every city has a fair amount of them that they're running independently at this point, um, mostly on a volunteer basis or supported by that municipality. But we do offer support um, to the Hiroshima City, I think, Japanese class program at this point um, and so we do offer up our space the exchange hall at this point for them to borrow for free to run their classes so um, and then as for the one pair program that is a program that the HIC runs and we essentially match foreign residents who want to learn Japanese with Japanese volunteers um, so we get them to match their schedules together and then meet regularly here in the center to practice Japanese with one another. Um, so I think this last year, 2020, we had a total of 198 pairs, so quite a large number. Um, but actually, in your typical year, we would have over 200, but because of coronavirus, most likely, um, it was a little bit lower this last year. To participate in, for example, the one pair program that we have, um, we do require yearly membership for foreign residents, which does cost 2,000 yen. Um, but you can meet as many times as you want with your pair partner uh, during that time. I was able to use the Hiroshima International Center when I first came to Japan as well. This was over 10 years ago, but I did not speak any Japanese and it was quite helpful in getting me started on my journey to learning Japanese. I really love the Japanese classes they offer, and I can't believe that they are all completely run by volunteers. Boy, was I super nervous, but the volunteer teachers helped me go to a class that was appropriate for my level, and then I was able to meet other students, other people who are learning Japanese for their school or for their jobs. And uh, wow, yeah, I, uh, I made a lot of friends that I 
didn't think that would happen necessarily. I just came here to study. I also participated in the one pair experience as well. Uh, I was able to sign up and pretty quickly be matched with a Japanese volunteer teacher that would meet me on their own time. Uh, completely volunteer just to teach me Japanese and they would adapt lessons and conversations on to what I wanted to learn. One of the cool things that I really liked about HIC again was meeting people from so many different countries and we would study here. I'd have a partner to race against uh, and try to be better at Japanese than them uh, quicker. And then we would go out to you know, have lunch afterwards and just made some really good memories uh, meeting so many people from around the world. It's really cool to be studying uh, towards the same goal. Like I was trying to learn Japanese for you know, my profession and many other people were learning it for different reasons, but we all were trying to progress together. So it was cool to find people who had the same interests. Regarding the different teaching materials we have at the center, um, we have a fair amount of international magazines. We also have books on Japanese culture as well as other foreign countries' cultures. Um, and we also have a fair amount of teaching materials as well that can be used during one pair sessions or um, just by anyone coming to the center. So you don't need a membership to use any of these materials. Um, they're free for use to anyone. So for self-study or if you just want to come in and read a magazine, um, you're free to use them at any time. Another thing about HIC is they have so many resources. Like if I wanted to find a book on something, there's a good chance that they already have it here. If I'm interested in doing activities around Hiroshima area, there's so many events being advertised here and they do many of their own events as well. We also have a card that we provide to international students who are within uh, Hiroshima Prefecture, which offers either discounts or um, completely free admission to different art exhibits or museums or other uh, different tourism locations within the prefecture. Um, and that's free of charge. All they have to do is register with us and they receive a card. Regarding the consultations that we offer, um, we offer consultations to a wide variety of foreign residents. So that's not limited to a specific visa status or anything. So we have um, a fair amount of technical intern trainees come in as well as international relations or uh, engineers related um, career professionals or just a really wide range of folks come in. Um, and they can come in for questions related to information regarding daily life questions or um, more specific legal issues, visa status, things like that. So we offer a wide range of support. と対応できるあの、これただ、裁判をしないといけないというふうな事件の場合には弁護士が代理人となって活動しないといけないこともありますので、そういった場合には弁護士費用がかかります。弁護士費用は事件によって金額が全く異なりますので、弁護士の方にいくらぐらいかか
ういう要件があるんですけれどもホーテラスの方で弁護士費用を抑えることができることもあります一旦弁護士費用をホーテラスに立て替えてもらって少しずつ返済をするというふうな制度がありますのでそちらの方のご利用を検討されてもいいかと思いますとりあえず早めに弁護士の方にご相談いただいたら問題が悪化する前に解決方法をお示しできる場合がありますので早めに相談に来ていただければと思いますこちらの広島国際センターでは相談を無料で受け付けていますのでとりあえず電話をしてみるとかとりあえず相談を受けてみようとかそういうふうにあの動かれてもいいんじゃないかなと思います。私は砂原です。私はあのタガルグの通訳なんですけど、パラポスマガカババヤンコディトサジャパン、トンハリンバオポカイメマガプロブレマ、オルアノンマガディナダラミニョプロブレマスインヨ、オポニニサリリニョ、ナディトランポアコパラトムドンポサインヨ。社会保険労務士の石田ゆり子と申します。私の仕事は社会保険とか労働保険に関する手続きとか相談とかに応じることなんですけれどもえっと身近なところで言うと会社に入った時に健康保険の保険証をもらったり年金に入ってますよっていう手続きをしてさせてもらったりとかあとは雇用保険って言ってえっと辞めた時にあの失業手当をもらったりとか。そういういところの手続きをしていますまずはその会社に入って仕事をしているのに雇用保険とか健康保険とかかけてもらってませんっていうご相談とかあとは、えっと、かけてるんだけども、えっと、保険料もすごくたくさん払ってるんだけどこれはどんなメリットがあるのかとか私は何をもらえるんですかとかそういうお話がそご相談があります。国際センターではあの外国語の専門相談員ということで英語と韓国語と中国語と,、えー、とベトナム語とフィリピン語の専門の,あの相談員がいます。で、えー、と曜日によっている人は違うんですけれどもその言語の方が来られた場合には対面で通訳ができます。でそれ以外の方の場合は、えー、とトリオフォンって言って電話で話をしたり、えー、とタブレットであの話をしたりして別の言語でもあの通訳対応ができるのであのどんなあの国の言葉の方でも大丈夫です来ていただいたらご相談ができます。はいえー、とそういうあのパワハラとかセクハラとか同僚の間のいじめとかそういう問題もご相談を受けることはできます。ただ、えー、と国際政センターの方では会社の方に直接お話をしたりとか指導したりということはできませんので、えー、とそれはあの労働局労働基準監督署の中にあるあの相談コーナーというところであの会社の方とお話をしてくださったり、えー、と裁判まではいかないんですけれどもそれに近いような話し合いの場を設けることができる制度がありますのでそういうところにご案内をしてあのここに行ってくださいとかこういうことができますよっていう説明をすることができますここで聞いていいのかなって思った時にはまあ、迷わずに一回聞いてもらってでみんなであのわからないことがあっても相談員同士でも話をしてあのここの窓口ここの役所に行けばあの解決できるよとかそういう案内をしていたあのさせていただくことができますので相談窓口はどこの相談窓口もなんですけど守秘義務って言ってあの相談に来た人のお名前とか職場とかあとその相談内容とかを勝手に外に出してはいけないという。あの決まりがありますご相談に来られた方が自分から会社に話をしてくださいとかそういうことを言わない限りはあのこちらから勝手に話をすることはありませんのであの会社にバレないかなとかあのそういう心配があってもあのそこは大丈夫なので安心して相談に来てください。まず知らない国に来ていろんな不安があると思うんですけれどもいろいろ相談していただければと思いますはい、沢谷京子と言います
、えー、NPO 法人ビザサポートセンター広島の行政書士ですそうですねここでは、えー、例えば仕事を変わった時にどういうビザの手続きをしたらいいかとかあと、まあ、結婚離婚そういった時にどういった手続きがいるかあと,、えー、と留学生の方が就職する時にどういった手続きがいるかっていうご相談が多いですね。そうですね。あの私たちは、えー、相談をされた方の秘密は守ります。うん、あのなのでよくやっぱり入管の人には怖くてあのすぐに相談できないって言って来られる方がいらっしゃるんですけども、最後はやっぱり入管に行ってもらわないといけないにしても。あのその前にちょっと私たちがアドバイスをできることっていうのがたくさんあるので入管に行くのが怖いっていう方はやっぱりぜひその入管に行く前にでも私たちに相談に来てくれたらいいのかなというふうに思いますお手伝いできることはたくさんあると思いますビザ関係のトラブルで例えば仕事を辞めた時にどうしたらいいかとか、うん、やめてしまったけれどもこのまま日本にいられるのかとか次の仕事を探す時の注意とかですねそういったことの相談は多いですねあと、まあ、結婚とかはいいんですけど逆に離婚した時とか、うん、このまま日本にいてもいいのかとかですねそういったことを不安に思ってこられる方っていうのは結構多いですね。そうですねあの近道道ががああありりまますすかかかとか抜け道がありますかとかってやっぱりたまに聞かれるんですけどそういったのはないんですねやっぱり日本にいる以上は日本のルールを守ってもらうで日本で決まってる手続きをしてもらうしかないんですねでも外国人の方ってやっぱりあの言葉の問題もあるしで自分の国の法律とは全然違うっていうところで日本のことがわからないっていう方が多いのでなのでちゃんとそういったあの日本の、ね、ルールを守れるようなお手伝いを私たちはできると思いますので分からなかったら1人で悩まないで相談に来てほしいと思います。例えばあの何か日本で、えー、トラブルがあったりとかちょっと日本のルールが守れなくてで日本から出ないといけない国に帰らないっていうことがもしあったとしてもその時に日本の国内でねあのちゃんとした手続きをしてから国に帰れば。また日本に戻ってこれる可能性っていうのもあります。もう何もしなければもう日本に帰戻ってこれないっていうこともあるので、困ったらまずは相談してほしいと思います。時々ですね、ビジネスを始めたいっていう人とか、あのフリーランスで日本で仕事をしたいっていう方もあのご相談に来られるんですね。でそういった方もあのちゃんと例えば。ビジネスの計画がきちっとできているとか、うん、あのフリーランスだったら契約する先がしっかりと決まっているとかそういったのがあればあの日本でビジネスを起こしたりフリーランスで働いたりすることはできますそうですね外国人の悩んでいる方にアドバイスできることとしては一人で悩まないでほしいまず私たちに相談してほしい外国人の方はえー、言葉の問題もありますし、えー、自分の国とは全然ルールが違うので分からないことがあって当たり前なのでそれを恥ずかしいと思わないでまず私たちに相談してほしいと思います。I didn't realize how expansive the consultation part of the center was. I had always known that it existed, but I didn't realize how widely they can help in so many different areas. And looking back, I think there are some times that maybe I could have even received some consultation here. That's one of the things that I would like to point out is that、uh, they're willing to help with just about anything. えっと、司法書士の岩佐と申します一応ですね司法書士の仕事っていうのはあの不動産登記であるとかあの会社の設立の登記申請であるとかあと、まあ、家庭裁判所の書類作成であるとかあと、まあ、この頃は成年後見に,にあの結構力を入れておりましてその関係の仕事が多いですかね。外国の方が会社を設立されたいとかあとあのお家を買われたいであの相,続をあの相続人になって相続登記をしてく
欲しいっていう時には、まあ、ちょっとお手伝いをさせていただく形やはりその法人をあの会社を設立する場合にはいろいろ手順がありますので、まあ、そ,あのそ,それこそあの行政書士の先生かと。かと一緒になってやることも多いんですよ、ね、例えば認可が必要であったりとかあのビザの関係とかともいろいろあるでしょうからあの結局、まあ、まずは定款っていうものを作らなくっていけなくって、まあ、あの会社のルールですよね。でそれを作成して、まあ、あのお金がじゃあ資本金をいくらって決めていただいてで最終的にやっぱり法務局に。登記を申請しないときっちりした会社っていうのはできないんですよ。We provide support for international students within Hiroshima Prefecture. So we have about three professionals who come in and serve as consultants for foreign students who, for example, are looking for jobs within Hiroshima Prefecture. Um, which we hope they will stay in Hiroshima Prefecture, so that's also in our best interest. <laughs>、um, but yeah, we offer help、uh, regarding job searching, etc. So, regarding some of the events that we hold specifically for international students,、um, we hold different events helping them meet and maybe match or make a connection with a local Hiroshima prefectural company. Um, in their job search, we offer seminars which give them information on how to best go about job searching within Japan.、Um, and we also offer a scholarship to a select amount of international students every year. So we'll hold events regarding that, like award ceremonies and、um, things like that. We also have information up in the center on different boards and things, as I'm sure you can see. Um, not only about events that we hold at the HIC,、um, but also different events held by other organizations that might interest foreign residents.、Um, and we also have a whole board、um, of JICA's different activities over in that corner,、um, and that focuses on their different projects abroad focused on international cooperation. So feel free to <laughs> come and take a look. Anytime. We also offer、uh, different internship events for students as well. Regarding networking events between international students and potential employers or Hiroshima professional companies,、um, we offer those events pretty regularly every year. And we hold them not only here in HIC and within Hiroshima City, but there's also a lot of foreign residents, or sorry, exchange students in Higashi Hiroshima and Fukuyama as well. So we will hold events. Um, near their respective colleges in Fukuyama and Higashi Hiroshima, too.、Uh, we also offer additional events for actually local Japanese、uh, Hiroshima prefectural residents who are about middle school and high school age,、um, different seminars to help them operate more successfully, hopefully, on an international stage,、um, maybe living abroad or working abroad in the future.、Um, and also, we offer seminars and events. Uh, to help Hiroshima residents get to experience and learn a little bit more about other cultures. If you are living in Hiroshima and you have any questions or concerns,、um, please feel free to come to the HIC whenever. And we have a lot of pamphlets around, so refer to those or feel free to ask the staff any questions as well.、Um, so you're always welcome to come to the Hiroshima International Center. We'd love to see you. あの今はちょっとコロナなのでなかなか難しいかもしれないんですけどいろんな外国籍の方があのここのセンターに来てあの日本語を勉強されたりとかお友達を作ったりとかっていうこともされてますのでもうちょっとコロナが収まったらまたここでお友達作ってもらったりあとあの今ちょっとやめてるんですけどいろんなイベントもあったりするのであの寂しいなって思う時にはあの。センターに来てちょっとあのお話をしてもらえればいいと思います。で相談難しいえっと法律的な相談だけじゃなくてゴミはいつ出せばいいのとかあのちょっとこういうものをどこで買えるのかなとかそういう生活相談も受けられますのでいつでも来てもらってこうちょっと困った時にこの窓口を利用してもらえればいいなと思ってます。There you have it. Most prefectures in Japan have international centers to help foreign residents and students. Seek them out and enjoy your best life in Japan. 
Here at Work Life Japan, we make videos on Japan, specifically here from Hiroshima. We also work at Ryowa House Real Estate and help foreign residents and students find apartments to live in in Japan, specifically in the Hiroshima and Okayama area. We have services in multiple languages and specialize in foreigner assistance. So if you're in need of a place, let us know. Hope to see you around.